I tell you, it's hell living there. Knickers all over the radiator. I don't know what she thinks pink nylon does for a man, but, well, maybe that's why she don't hang on to him longer than five minutes, eh? <laughs> and talk about obsessive vis-a-vis her dad. There's a case for Ricky Lake, if ever I saw one. Who are you two dissecting this time, eh? I just think Sad is the most desperate woman in the village. Uh, and you won't be gossiping about yourself now, Mrs Hope. Think blonde, baleful and full of bile. Well, uh, that'd have to be Nicola. <laughs> Dish the dirt, we won't tell. Excuse me, ladies. And the way she chucks herself at Neil. And he ain't remotely interested. Oh, it's enough to make you sick. You don't fancy him yourself, do you? Well, Nicola seems to think so. I said, Nickers, if I wanted him, I'd have him. I tell you, half an hour with me and he'd be putty in my hands. 20 quid says he'll be able to resist. Done. <sighs> Watch and learn, Viv. Watch and learn. It's my treat. Very kind of you. I thought it was about time you received some proper warm Yorkshire hospitality. <laughs> There's only one reason my mum buys younger men drinks. Oh, in that case, make it a large one. He's over there. Come on. Marlon! Luke, Luke, if it's about Zach, I'm no more enlightened than you are. OK. That man over there, he's a restaurant reviewer for the Courier. A reviewer? Mm, doesn't look very happy, does he? Oh, my God, oh, my God, he's ordered my new chilli fish cakes. I knew I'd overdone them. Oh, I'm, I'm just... Everything all right, sir? Fine, thanks. Well, only I couldn't have noticed you haven't touched your lunch. <laughs> That's because this lunch belongs to my wife. Here we go. One salad for you, Mum. No dressing. And one steak, medium rare for you. Thanks. And you'll be needing a string of garlic to hang round your neck. Thank you, Tricia. She's so protective of her old mum, aren't you, darling? Oh, it isn't you that needs protecting, Mum. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I think you can tell a lot by the way a man eats, don't you? I've never noticed myself. <laughs> That's what we mature ladies have got in our favour. Well, we know our way around. We know how to treat a real man. These young girls, I mean, they're so needy. All they want is a white frock and a walk down the aisle. Get your geriatric claws off my man! Who's man? Nicola, Neil and I were just having a spot of lunch. Would you like to join us, sweetheart? <sighs> Sorry, my hand slipped. Oh, you forgot the dressing. Nicholas just dumped salad all over me, Mum. Do you know what? I, I don't want to know. I don't care and I don't want to know. I'm going to Lisa's. I've got this chicken a la marlon with extra paprika and double cream. And it's guaranteed to bring a smile back to your face, so... Oh, don't talk to me about food. I'm feeling really queasy. You never said. Oh, it's been on and off since last weekend and it gets loads worse in the mornings. <laughs> oh, no, I won't go. Have you not so well? Oh, no, no. You go. Lisa needs you more than I do. Well, just ring me if it gets any worse and I'll come right back. I'll manage. Nicola and your mum are still arguing. Oh. It's not my problem, mate. I've got a mercy mission with a casserole, so... I'm too young for you, aren't you, Neil? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Ladies, ladies, please desist. At least I'm not desperate. You had a lucky escape there, boy. This is undignified, Mother. Marlon, tell her. Um, uh... You're doing yourself no favours, Nicola. Men don't like screaming arrogance who show them up in public. Tell her, Neil. Well, well, call yourself a woman. I've seen many drag more feminine than you. Right, that's it. You're barred. You're both barred. Oh, oh shut, shut up, up Trisha. Trisha. Well, seeing as though you're so confident, let's put it to the test. Let Neil decide which one of us he wants. Hmm? I want nothing to do with either of you two lunatic witches ever again. Neil! Butty in your hands. Pay me when you want. Would you 
pass me the salt, please, Nicola. <clears throat> First customers of the year. Let's start as we mean to go on, shall we? Oh, good afternoon, darling. Special offer today. Two for a fiver. Um, and as it's you, I'll even throw in a complimentary table decoration. How's that? You ought to just bring me an antique out there. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Steph, have you got a minute? I think we should have a drink. Um, I'll be with you in a minute, Rodney. Danny? Over here, gorgeous. Can you help me out? I'm brushed off my feet. May I help you, mate? Couldn't serve her if I were you. She turns funny when she's had a drink, especially when there's men around. That makes two of you, then. I bet she can't get through lunch without a cat fight. See, she's starting already. I only get my claws out, Nicola, when I'm provoked. I'm just a pussycat. Aren't I, Rodney, darling? <clears throat> Now, sweetheart, you've got your little worried head on. What's on your mind? I'd like to discuss our arrangement up at the barn. Oh, I think it's working a treat. We did agree to review matters in the new year. Well, I thought that was best. You know, keep my options open before I committed myself. Yeah, I think we should talk about your presence there, how it's affecting my trade. <laughs> Without the punters I drag in, that place would be empty most of the time. Yes, but your target market, well, they're... It's hardly the caliber of customer that I'm looking for. As my old granddad used to say, never judge a book by its cover. Now, is that it? Because I have left Danny holding the fort, and he's a nice kid, but he ain't got the killer instinct, know what I mean? <sighs> See you later. It's lovely, isn't it? It's perfect. Yeah, I see what you mean. She's driving me demented. I mean, she's so self-centred. And she's under the delusion that she's irresistible to men. Well, you can't afford the rent on your own. I used to have my life sorted out. Now I'm reduced to sharing a slum with a nymphomaniac market trader. <laughs> it won't be forever, Princess. Give no thanks to you. Why the hell don't you chuck her out? I'm working on it. You know... She thinks all she has to do to get a man to do what she wants is bat her eyelashes. I thought you were a bit more discerning than that, Dad. So did you have a word with her, then? I'm working on it! Just biding my time. So when? Next Christmas? <sighs> Case is solid walnut. Legs beautifully turned with... Fine gilding, strings are intact, mm -hmm. original keys. Well, I'll leave you to think it over. Mr Blackstock will, of course, arrange to have the instrument finely tuned at no extra cost. He'll even bung in the piano stall at half price. Imagine yourself, if you will, sat there, running your fingers over the ivories. Chopin, Mozart. I tell you, she's that old, she could be Mozart's own personal Joanna. I'll take it. Wise decision, sir. Uh, Mr Blackstock, would you take over from here, please? I hear Steph's been teaching you a thing or two about sales techniques, eh, Rodney? Now, she struck lucky. As a rule, her customers think they've splashed out if they have to part with a pound coin. Well, at least they're buying. And we had to shift that piano. I need the space. I've got my Easter delivery coming in the morning. Oh, cute! <laughs> I tell you, they're going to sell like hot cakes. We're going to be twice as busy as we were at Christmas. No, 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 no! All right, I can take a hint. I'll pay me way, I'll contribute. 50 quid, do you? 500. Five thousand. Five hundred thousand wouldn't do it. Not now, not ever. I don't want to have to listen to you gossiping all day on your mobile. And if I hear you doing one more special deal with a customer, I shall lose the will to live. You are out. Evicted. Ejected. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> What's going on? 
Oh, you better ask the boss. Rodney? I told you I want you out of here. Yes, but I thought But you, you thought what? That I was joking? No, I didn't think you were that heartless. It's a business decision, nothing personal. This is the last one. But where am I going to put it all? I'll save you the obvious joke. You are going to regret this, Rodney. Without me, this place will go downhill so fast your teeth will rattle. On the contrary, once you've gone, the only way is up. But I know what I'm talking about. You sell junk. So do you, but I'm not complaining. Take this. Fake. Sorry? If it was genuine, it would have the maker's initials right there. Yes, but the customer might not know that. Neither did you admit it. <laughs> nice try, Stephanie. But I know all there is to know about figurines. I'm an expert. That's as may be, but I'll manage without you. Rodney, be reasonable. Now, if you don't mind, we've got work to do. Danny boy! And I want that lot moved by midday. Danny, let's get this out of here. Me to solve your conscience. Why would I have a conscience? Because you encouraged Rodney to chuck me out, that's why. What was the paranoid? You told him about that figurine I licked from home farm, didn't you? Oh, I didn't. Well, why else would he get rid of me, then? I'd bring in the punters, didn't I? Like you said, they don't like your image. I told him I'd go up market if that's what he wants. Well, maybe you don't like the way you do business. Well, what's wrong with it? <laughs> You're a bit devious, aren't you? Devious? If he thinks I'm devious, he ain't seen. Buy you another one, Rodney. No, thanks. You don't mind if I join you? I'll be going in a minute. You know I hated what happened this morning. I didn't think you'd be too pleased about it. It was my fault, I realise that now. Oh, yeah. Well, you're a terrific bloke. And you've been very kind to me and I've taken advantage of you. True. I want to put it right. So... I'll pay you £75 a week and we'll give it another try. What do you say? It's not about the money. Oh, I know you don't like the stuff I sell or the way I sell it, but... Well, I'm prepared to change. So you say? You tell me what to do and I'll do it. <laughs> now, that is a tempting offer. We work well together, Rodney. There's a chemistry between us. A real spark, isn't there? You know, I've never had much time for science. See you. Ooh. I told her to stop, but she wouldn't. And I told you I've got to earn a living. It was bad enough having boxes all over the place without unpacking them all. Punters need to see the goods on display. Isn't that right, Rodney? This is my house, not a shop. This would never have happened if you hadn't turfed her out. Oh, look, Dad, take her back, please. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, I can't live like this. And I can't run my business surrounded by all this rubbish. In that case, I've got no choice, have I? OK, if that's how you want to play it. What are you doing? I'm ringing the landlord. When I tell him what you've done, he'll want you out as well as this lot. You wouldn't. I'm only doing it to make him see sense. You go ahead, Nicola. You're perfectly within your rights. All right. I'll box it all up again. Now? Now? I'll give you a hand. I won't give up, you know. I don't see as you've got any choice. He's doing so well. Cool, he's doing a roaring trade. I think that's why he's got me out of there. Thinks I'm cramping his style. As if. <laughs> <laughs> Flatterer. More to the point, I don't know how you can afford to be so generous. With? The rent you're charging him. Well, I think you'll find the rent pretty fair. Yeah, well, that's what he keeps saying. Does he know? Yeah. Oh, well. Listen, I'd better be going. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> oh, the pleasure was all mine. <laughs> oh, just one thing before I go. Um... If I was thinking of holding a car boot sale, what would the position be if it was on council land? Well, I think if the organisers' profits were donated to charity, there wouldn't be a problem. OK. 
Thanks. Oh, pleasure. Uh, be seeing you. So, what did you want me for then? Ah, thanks for coming, Danny. What do you want to drink? No, I'm all right. I'm meeting Ollie and Calf. Oh, well, it won't take you a minute. So? So, uh, we had another bad day today. <laughs> no surprises there, then. No, but there was a surprise waiting for me after I closed up. Well, good one, I hope. No. Oh. Pollard has decided he wants to uh, up the rent. So, I'm going to have to do some serious thinking. Diane, would it be all right if I put my poster up in here? Don't see why not. You're sucking me. Oops. There's no need to be upset. What are you talking about? This is the first job that I've actually enjoyed. Now you're giving me a boot. It's not that straightforward. Yeah, well, it seems pretty straightforward to me. Look, as soon as I've turned things round, I'll take you back on again. Really? That's big here. I mean, if you're just gonna lay me off every time things get bad, then what's the point? I don't want to get me up, so would I? Danny! All right. <clears throat> Get it sorted. I just wanted to ascertain what had happened, that's all. Not much. Rodney didn't want me there. End of story. Okay. Yeah. So what do you do now? Nothing. It's just a temporary aberration. It is. Well, it better be. Otherwise, I shall have to take steps. Know what I mean? Well, listen. When's the last time I had a car boots out here? <laughs> that's what taking steps means, isn't it? Well, it's one of the possibilities, yeah. Well, I dare say Houghton Council have guidelines for that sort of thing. Hmm, I thought so. Here, you couldn't lend me 100 quid, could you? Uh, just to tide me over. On our own, are we? Ah, uh, Donna's getting something from the back. Oh. <laughs> Someone definitely needs taking in hand. Sorry? That's the trouble with these long-distance relationships, isn't it? You get together once in a blue moon, and when you do, there's no time for... Well, the little things, is there? I I'm sorry, <laughs> Miss Stokes. I I'm really not following you. Well, with Gloria away, there's mm. no-one to tell you how to attend to your needs. <laughs> what, what, what needs, exactly? <laughs> you need an air cup. Oh, <laughs> I see. I haven't been too personal, have I? No, no, no. I was hoping it wasn't too obvious, actually. Well, maybe not to the great unwashed, but uh, I have an eye for these things. Have you indeed? Mm. But I shouldn't leave it too much longer. Or the... Or the great unwashed will notice as well. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Someone definitely needs taken in hand. And he's doing so well. Cool, he's doing a roaring trade. I think that's why he's got me out of there. Thinks I'm cramping his style. I see if. <laughs> <laughs> Flatterer. More to the point, I don't know how you can afford to be so generous. With? The rent you're charging him. Well, I think you'll find the rent pretty fair. Yeah, well, that's what he keeps saying. Does he know? Listen, I better be going. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> oh, the pleasure was all mine. <laughs> oh, just one thing before I go. Um, if I was thinking of holding a car boot sale, what would the position be if it was on council land? Well, I think if the organisers' profits were donated to charity, there wouldn't be a problem. OK. Thanks. Oh, pleasure. Uh, be seeing you. to Viv so that he can spy on us. Loser. <laughs> Oh, Tenner, darling. Oh, that's a bit steep. Oh, it's all going for charity. Which charity? Five foot to the church. What about the other five? You care nothing for the needy children. Oh. <sighs> Thank you. Quiet, darling.
day for you, Rodney. Sorry I can't chat, but I'm inundated. Come on, Gordon. I'm sorry, darling, there's been a mistake. I promised I'd put that one by for the pie and liquor. A vicar. Well, I wish you'd have told me earlier. I've got my heart set now. Tell you what, give us 12 quid. Well, it says 10 there. <laughs> well, I'll put the other two in the collection box on Sunday. Then the vicar can't be grumpy about it, can he? All right. <laughs> Thanks, love. She's a marvel, isn't she? Heart of gold. A thin as a rake. Life's just not fair, is it? Who is? Your mum? It's not me mum. It's my grandma. Oh, does she ever do glamorous granny competitions? She'd walk it in Workington. Would she? Well, they do live a hard life over there. <laughs> Rodney Blackstock, Antiques Have Farm. Have we forced you to uh, close the Antiques Farm for the day? No, 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 not at all, no. But I couldn't help taking advantage of the crowd that you gathered, could I? It's at the end of Church Lane. You pop in any time you like. <laughs> you see, you're not the only one with a common touch. Oh, this is nice. Yes, you can have that for a fiver. OK. But uh, Rodney, have you paid your store fee? No need. Yeah, there is. If I'm good watching. Yeah, do you want it or not? Yeah. Oh, and uh, just ignore anything she says. She's crackers. Hmm. But you deserve it. Why not? It's hideous. Why do you think it's free? I stopped you dancing with the Edna, though, did it? Hey, don't be cheeky, you. Morning, morning. How's the next day, then? Oh, much better, thanks. Jarvis, new residents and already a celeb in our midst. <laughs> I wish I got this much attention empty bins. A lot more socially useful. Hello, Vicar. Morning. Emma Dale's answer to Mother Teresa, she is. <laughs> what nurse are you talking about? Search me. She's completely new, Lally. She keeps asking me if I do glamorous granny competitions. <laughs> uh, any more from you and you're getting evicted? Now, now, Danny. Dignity at all times is laughing in the face of adversity. It'd have to with a face like that. Through me old stock. Oh, I'm so pleased you popped back. Matching set for the mantelpiece. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> How much do you want for it? Um, I think it was um, 25 quid. But this one was only 12. Ah, oh, what the hell. I like your face. You can have it for 15. Fair price to make up the set. Thank you. She paid a fiver for that. Mm. Do you let her go? Well, your daughter and not Alan. You're better off without her. <laughs> Could I have a look at your paper? Yeah, keep it. I'll finish with Hello? it. Hello? It's gone again. Sorry, Lara. Oh, I've been trying the number all day. I've got a load of them up at the house. Oh, she's all right. You just try a landline first before you get a new one. Right, thanks, Danny. Danny, I could have flogged her a trombone. Yeah, well, you just keep your knockoff stuff away from me. Anyway, it don't go too well with your charity image, does it? Oh, get rid of her, then. You've been a lucky charm to me. I have made a mint. Excuse me. Uh, Stephanie. Excuse me. We need to talk. Hey, she's got nothing to say to you. I'm sorry, Mavis. Rodney and I have got a telephone to organise. <sighs> yeah? <laughs> Steph, forget it. Oh, I'll have to go, Shelley. You wanted something? I've changed my mind. So let's talk about what I want. First, your share of the profit on that plate. You're too kind. And, assuming you wanted to talk to me about us working together, I want 20% on anything I sell. Commission. Well, I'm not asking for my name above the door. Yet. Well, we'll see how well you do. How much did you make today? Uh, Rodney and I were just having a bit of a conflab. You've asked for your job back, haven't you? Well, thanks very much. I thought we were supposed to be part of a team. Why? Why aren't you necking? We've just come to an arrangement. Yeah, well, you deserve each other. Uh, hold on a minute. Oh, you men. You're always flouncing out. You want to put your grovelling trousers on. He ain't the pushover I am, you know. Yeah, I'll do that. What a lovely day it's been. Yeah, it was until about five minutes ago. You know, your grandma's such an example. I've decided to give some of my takings to the vicar's fund. 
Can you pass it on? Well, why don't you drop it in yourself? He'll be at New Church now, and I'm sure I'd love to see you. Why not? I've not had a butcher's at it yet. <laughs> and um, don't forget to tell Vicky, you know, about all the charity work and that. <laughs> OK. <laughs> mm. Here's to making a bomb. Yeah, not with any old tat. One man's tat is another man's treasure. I think that every time I look at Rodney. I see you both thawed. There we are, madam. <sighs> Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Have you uh, got the money for today? Ah, just the man. Listen, Danny, I'm sorry I let you go. I'd like you to think about coming back to work for me. Pardon? Yeah, with me. We'll be a team. What'd you say? It's cold in that barn, Danny, but it beats trading out of car parks. Come on, Danny. Well, you still on me for today? OK, Brian. About that 20 quid. What now? Sure, if you don't mind. <laughs> Well, you've still got it. Sorry? Well, I might want to go to the bar. Yeah. are. Yeah. Rodney? Danny? Steph? Yeah, Ashley? <laughs> Would you, uh, you care to join us? Yes, I'd love to. You all know Mavis. <laughs> You're right, Maeve. Oh, lovely little Daniel. <laughs> Hello, Mavis. Oh, good Lord. Is that the time already? No, 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 no. Don't rush off. I believe you've got something for me. Mavis has been telling me you've raised a fortune for the church today. Those little needy kids. Uh, I see Zach Dingle's got a worthy successor. Uh, Just a private joke with myself. <laughs> I noticed you got your dosh quick enough. Oh, it was that Pollard told me to say it was for charity. Fine, fine, but if you do say that, you're expected to tip up of your own free will. Every time I look at the new hymn books, I think of you. Right then, Rodney. I'll see you in the morning. Bright and early, Danny boy. Have we seen you, Mavis? Bye, love. All in all, a very good day. Yeah. Can I just say, I think you look marvellous for a woman of your years. Do you take pills? No, but I wish you would. Oh. Uh, any chance of the loan I gave you? Dad, I'm a bit tired. Do you mind if I talk to you about it in the morning? Dad, you're her father. Oh, crikey Moses, what are they putting the water round here? <laughs> She'll run rings round you. Steph, now with her, it's just a matter of how you handle her. Yeah, I'll handle this. She's bugged off without paying the bar bill. So, oh. hey, we only had two bottles. Three. Didn't she tell you about the one to take away? I must say, I like her style. Nice lie-in, did you? What's all this? I thought I'd have a bit of a sort-out, celebrate our first day together with a new look. It could be our last day. You didn't think to ask my opinion. Oh, Rodney, I thought it'd be a lovely surprise. I didn't think I had to ask permission. It would have been nice to be consulted. So, what's the bright idea? We're going to create a selling zone. A selling zone? Trust me. It's a little trick I picked up. Where? Um, on me way. I'll take your word for it. Where's Danny? I sent him out to get some polish. Well, in that case, as the boss of this new enterprise, I suggest you get the teas in. Oh. Now, don't worry, I'm perfectly capable of managing on my own. And don't forget the receipt. Yes, boss. Dare <laughs> I said. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Look, poor, it's a landlord. Mm. Ah, a bit late for that, don't you think? <laughs> ah, just thought I'd give you this. Mm. The new rental agreement I mentioned. Ah. Um, you're not, uh... You're going to sign it? Uh, firstly, I never sign anything without reading it thoroughly. Secondly, I am having lunch with a very attractive lady. You wouldn't want me to spoil that by uh, discussing business, would you? No, <laughs> not at all. Good. Come round later. We should be there all afternoon. I hadn't realised you started dealing in, uh, replicas. I haven't. Perfectly understandable to the, uh, <laughs> the inexperienced. They should be just the tiniest of mouldy marks. Uh, yeah. 
I told you, I don't deal in fakes. A bit of an insult, if you ask me. Now, have you come to inspect all of my stock, or do you want this? Oh. I take it it's all signed and sealed. You left me no option, Eric. Well, there's little doubt that you can afford it, judging by some of your stock. There's, um, there's no price on it. Three fifty. No, but I thought it was... Quite right, Danny. Sorry, Eric, I have a collector who is very interested. Pity, really. Beautiful piece like this. Should be admired, not sat in a box somewhere. Yes, quite. I must say, it would look rather wonderful in Gloria's Westminster apartment, but I could only stretch to, um, 300 to? Mm, uh, I'm sorry, Eric, my collector is, uh, well, I promised him first option, you know. Who? I understand. <coughs> Pity. Mm. Well, you drive a hard bargain, Eric. All right, all right, I'll tell the client I've... Discovered it's a fake. Oh, well, you <laughs> said... Wrap that up, will you, Danny? <laughs> yeah, by the time I finish with him, he'll be, he'll be thanking me. 